All right, so this tiny little guy is the do-it-yourself EFI C2C ECU. So let me give you guys a quick overview, and then we'll break it down from there. All right, so let's try and cover exactly what this little guy is. So this little guy is a Speedwino-based two-channel ECU. So that's what the two in the C2C means. So it actually means compact two-channel. So it's a two-channel board. So with this, off the bat, you get in two channels. So you get in two fuel channels and you get in two ignition channels. So that is enough to run most four cylinder cars in batch fire. Right? So on the outside, we have a very sleek metal enclosure very small guys right and on the end we also have metal end plates right on the front end here back end sorry we have a hose bob so this goes to a vacuum line which goes to your intake manifold fits the internal map sensor with a boost or vacuum reference right we also have a usb port here and here we have a four pin connector with BT written at the top. So the BT is Bluetooth. So he also sells an addition, an add-on for this ECU. And it basically just plugs in here and then you have the capabilities of Bluetooth with this tiny device. So you can use that Bluetooth for, um, if you have a laptop that runs on Bluetooth, if you want to use an MS Droid software, which is a software which is used for um, Megasquirt and Speedwino for connecting to any Arduino device. On the front end or back end, I don't really feel it has a direction, so this could be the front or the back. We have a 24 pin Molex connector, right? So on the 24 pins, what we have, I'll try to put up a picture of the ECU pin out on the screen. But on the 24, we have power ground, we have two injector outputs, we also have two ignition outputs and four high current outputs. Um, out of the box, the four current high current outputs are for idle, VVT, boost, and fuel pump. They can be repurposed in the software for anything in between. So if you have something other than what is limited, you can change it in the software. And for the more advanced guys you can also use this ecu if you want to do for instance um repurpose uh one of the high current outputs to be an extra injector output so if you want to repurpose say vvt and maybe idle if you're not using this on the board you can repurpose that by modifying the firmware to make it um injector outputs right so on the outside, it's looking really good. I have my multimeter here, and I'll give you the exact dimensions right now. All right, so the display does not work. Forgot to change the battery before this video. All right, so lengthwise, I'm gonna give you metric numbers. Okay, it's a bit difficult to do on camera here. All right, so we're looking at roughly 84 millimeters long. It's the length, width, we're looking at roughly 60 millimeters, and the thickness, we're looking at right around 24 millimeters. Right, so 80 by 60 by 24, roughly. Right, so this is about the size of a very small pack of playing cards, well, regular size playing cards. Um, this is available on James's website. I am unsure off the top of my head what he retails at currently, but all of his stuff is usually very affordable and very well priced. Um, so to recap, metal enclosure, beautiful metal enclosure. 24 pin con um, connector. He also sells pigtails for this one. So he sells like a two foot, I believe, two feet pigtail connector, um, harness, sorry, that just plugs into there, goes out, and then you can build your loom from there. With that, 
internally it has a two point this one has a 2.5 bar map sensor so this one is good for around 23 psi of boost roughly which is plenty for most guys um the pinout for this one is exactly as you would get in the no2c which is also another very popular speed window board so pretty much the same as the no2c so in the software when you actually go to use this you will select no2c in the drop down it's that similar guys all right so i'll just give you guys one last look and this one i hope to use it on something i'm not sure i don't have too many small products and i have a ton of them uh, i'm gonna use it on something who knows we may just pick up another bike to use this one on um, but again it has two channels just so you guys are following along so it has two channels for spark and two for ignition so off the bat you can run a four cylinder engine with wasted spark uh, or wasted coil and plugs and paired ignition if you want you can you can edit the firmware to do to repurpose some of the high current outputs as fuel outputs so and then you can end up doing sequential e injection um, for the ignition you you still down to two so you can only do single cylinder um, engine maybe a four cylinder engine wasted spark or if you have a distributor based v8 engine that can also work you can also use it on a six cylinder i guess if you repurpose one of the high current outputs as a fuel injector output so you have free ped ignition and you have something like a distributor based six cylinder engine all right so i'm gonna wrap this one up guys hopefully you guys head over to do it yourself efi i will leave his website down in the description of this video pick up this one very very beautiful piece of ecu and again it runs on the speedwino firmware so everything speedwino can do you can do it with this little guy all right so catch you guys later